Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. Google Cloud Vision is a powerful tool that allows developers to easily integrate vision detection features into their applications. Azure and AWS have their own image detection services, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. We will cover those in another video. In a previous video, we taught you how to detect text in an image. Check the description below for a link to that video. This time we will teach you how to detect objects in images using the Google Cloud Vision API service. Google Cloud Vision does have more functionality besides detecting objects. We will be creating future videos on how to detect other types, such as labels, faces, and landmarks. Check back later to learn more. Here is the image we will be using in this video for object detection. This is the Jupyter Notebook that we will be using for this tutorial. First, we need to set up the Python environment. We will use Conda for this. If you are unfamiliar with using Conda and Jupyter Notebook, see our video on Python, Conda, and Jupyter Notebooks to get started. Link in the description below. These are the commands you will need to run to set up the environment. This command will add the environment to the list of kernels you can use within notebooks. Once you set this up, select the new environment from the Select Kernel button. Now we are ready to run the code. The first cell imports the Python packages or libraries we will be using. Next, we set up the location for our API key credentials file. See our first GCP video on how to create and save this API key, Google Vision API for OCR text extraction. Link in the description below. Then we create a Google Vision API image annotator client. This is how we will access the GCP cloud service. Then we select our image and path using the IO library. We read the image in as a byte type object. Then we create a Cloud Vision image by selecting the image method from the Google Cloud SDK. We feed in the byte array from the image. Now we pass in the image to the object localization method and get a response back from GCP. Next, we extract the annotations from the response. This contains a list of objects that were found and the XY coordinates for each. Then we open the original image using the PIL Python package to add our labels and boxes to. Here, we go through the annotation details for each object and create a list of items found, along with adding text and borders to the original image. We convert the Python list to a pandas data frame. Here is the list of items that were found. And here is the image with the text and borders for each object. The output of the object detection model shows that several objects were found and the score for each. The score is a measure of the confidence that the model has for an individual item. For example, it is very confident that there is a dress in the image with a score of 0 0.906 and less confident that there is a shoe in the image with a score of 0 0.616. The borders on the image look very accurate. They contain the entire object and only the object. A few items are missing as there is a lot of overlap in the objects. This can confuse the model. Keep in mind we are only showing the objects with a high confidence level. The other objects have a lower confidence score, so they were dropped from the results. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. See you next time.